Well, thanks for being here. I really like doing stand-up, so this works out well. Um, I've got a good agenda. I got a lot of funny stuff for you, some real zingers. Uh, we're just gonna get to them point by point, but uh, I'm gonna take my time. All right, it's gonna be at my own pace. So don't look at me like you're rushing me. You know, sometimes the audience looks a little impatient. Just relax, all right? I got it under control. Uh, well, let's, let's begin. Um, I'd, I'd like to start with my face. Um, I think it's pretty good. Gets the job done, you know? No one, ever, uh, no one ever says, hey, where's your face right now? You know, people accept it, and I appreciate that. Uh, I do I have a real big nose. Uh, unfortunately, it does not work any better. Uh, even though I believe it should, you know, considering other body parts work like that. <laughs> but uh, not noses. No, they usually work worse the bigger they are. Also, my whole life, people, uh, people have assumed I'm Jewish. Which, uh, that's fine, don't get me wrong, I love Jews, I have a lot of Jewish friends, I am Jewish. Uh, uh, I just, I really don't like satisfying that stereotype for people, because they're always way too into it. People see me and they're like, oh yeah, that's a big one! We found a big one! When I was a kid, uh, I used to wish I had no nose at all. You know, then nobody would think I was Jewish. Uh, They'd be like, well, there goes that demon boy again. <laughs> and it's better to be feared. Yes. <laughs> I uh, grew up real religious. I was actually an Orthodox Jew. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's the highest difficulty setting. <laughs> and, uh, to be clear, Judaism is not very fun on any setting. Uh, level one, someone cut off part of my penis. <laughs> then uh, level 13, they're like, happy bar mitzvah, you're a man now. What do you want to do? And I'm like, I want to discuss level one. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Where is it? Because they don't tell you where they put it. You spend your whole life worrying, you know, what if it's searching the country for me? <laughs> like, uh, like in Homeward Bound. <laughs> And then, to add insult to injury, they made me wear a yarmulke every day, which that's a little hat, and I'm like, well, I already had a little hat. <laughs> it's a real take a hat, give a hat situation. Overall, Judaism is a zero-sum hat religion. You're just gonna wind up with as many hats as you started with. I, uh, I'm not religious anymore, as you can probably tell, because I'm so cool. Got a real secular shirt. Did a little research, found out this is how the Gentiles dress. And now I'm blending in. I, uh, when I stopped being religious, I was 21. I was very excited. And one of the first things I did is I, I went out, I bought a whole bunch of condoms. Because uh, I wasn't allowed to have sex before. And I was like, oh, I think it's sex time. <laughs> uh, so I went out and I bought a 40 pack of condoms because I was extremely optimistic. Uh, the problem was I was still living with my parents and I was real scared that they were gonna find all my condoms. So what I did is, I just got into the habit of carrying 40 condoms with me. I uh, had a little backpack that I kept all my condoms in and I used to take that everywhere. I remember one time I had to go to an art museum and a security guard, you know. You know I, He's like, sir, we need to look inside your bag. And I was like, I'd really rather you did not. <laughs> he looks in there, he's like, that's a lot of condoms. And I was like, yeah, what can I say? I love art. <laughs> I, was, I was real dumb too, because I left all the condoms attached. Uh, so by the time I was with a woman, I looked like a weird sex magician. <laughs> uh, where I was like, oh, you want to do it? We can do it. Da -da 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 how many times do you want to do it? We can do it up to 40 times. My personal record is zero. I'm gonna do a little bit more Jewish stuff. It seems like it's a hit. And then I'll move on to another topic.
You'll know when it's a different topic. <laughs> It'll be obvious. But I just want to prepare you so you don't think we're sliding into home with all Jewish stuff. <laughs> There's going to be a big gear shift. <laughs> prepare yourselves. Um, I used to live in the deep south. I was religious. I wore a yarmulke down there. Uh, if you don't think that's impressive, why don't you go do that? <laughs> Slap one on, go down there, see, see how it goes. Uh, I had a lot of weird experiences. My college roommate is from Alabama. Um, we were like a real odd couple. One day he pulls me aside. He's like, hey, I just want to give you a heads up. My family's coming to visit. And as a joke, I was like, oh, I hope they're okay with Jewish people. And then there was just too long of a silence. <laughs> And I said, Richard, are they okay with Jewish people? And he's like, well, my parents are cool, but I think my uncle does have like a tattoo of a swastika. And then he's like, but I wouldn't read that much into it. I'm like, Richard, why would I not read into that? And he's like, Cause he's just a guy, he's got a lot of tattoos. That's just his thing, he's got a lot of tattoos. I'm like, Richard, you can't cancel out a swastika with quantity. Like, if I keep a dead person in my basement, that's bad. Doesn't matter how many alive people are also down there. Any vegetarians in the building? <laughs> uh, well, I'm a, I'm a vegetarian. Um, I, get, I get bullied a lot, uh, mostly by vegans. Because <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm never quite good enough for them. I have, uh, I have one vegan friend. He's always giving me a hard time because uh, I'm kind of a flexible vegetarian. And basically what that means is I eat eggs, because uh, I don't think it's a big deal to eat an egg. It's not chicken yet, it's just an egg. I also eat chicken. <laughs> and that is because a chicken, that's just an egg that you forgot to eat. <laughs> I don't think anyone should be penalized for absent-mindedness. <laughs> My friend, he's vegan though, he's like, you shouldn't eat chicken. It's a very smart animal. You know, uh, chickens are actually able to count. And I was like, I don't care. Who do you think I wouldn't need a calculator? Because I would if I could. I've thought about this. I would eat a very nice calculator if I could handle it. I think I would eat up to and including a TI-83+. plus. <laughs> and I don't think a chicken's anywhere near as advanced as that. You have to ask yourself, how high are the chickens counting? How high? I looked it up. Uh, it turns out chickens can only count to six. Uh, which I thought that was very funny, because that is a half dozen. <laughs> Did everybody hear me? Has everybody processed it? Chickens can only count to a half dozen. <laughs> Do you understand what a disturbing coincidence it is that our world has synced up in such a way that the smallest number of eggs that we sell is the highest number <laughs> a chicken can even fathom? Do you understand? You go into any grocery store, find the smallest container of eggs. It's six eggs. You show that to a chicken, she'd be like, oh my God, you're eating all the eggs. That's every egg that's ever been laid. Buck, 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 they're all there. Sometimes people want to know like, which part of that joke I wrote first. You know? All right, thank you so much, have a good night.